Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you another LTX2 video. This time we're gonna be using a free workflow that was recommended to me from Ostris AI on X. So thanks for the thanks for the hookup on that. And then it was cleaned up by one of our most valuable community members in our Discord because he was getting frustrated with the layout. So I appreciate that. So that's what you're looking at here is just a free workflow that was cleaned up by one of our Discord members. Now, the important thing about this workflow is it actually lets you generate 20 second videos with audio as well. Open source, of course. Now, in my last video, I was just starting to try out LTX2 and I hadn't given it a fair chance yet, I guess you could say. I've played with it a little bit more. Now, my opinion has changed a little bit and I'll tell you right now, I do like it a little bit more. It's not quite as good as some other models. I don't find the audio to be that useful, but the technology is important. And this is the first audio and video model that has come out to compete with things like OpenAI's Sora. So I like where this is going. This is a great start. Um, and I have been playing with it a little bit more. So let's take a closer look at the workflow we have here. It's much like the original LTX2 workflow. Same checkpoint. Gemma 3 as well for your text encoder. Now this was one of the more difficult things to install. My advice to you is make sure you copy absolutely every file from the GitHub or Hugging Face or wherever you're getting it from. Just pasting the text encoder itself didn't work for me. I had to actually copy the whole folder. That's not the case with other text encoders I've had, but this Gemma 3 did require that. So if you're having some trouble, do try that. So LTX Studio, likes prompts that are structured and layered, clearly stating the subject, then the action, and then the setting, followed by camera movement, lighting, and style, or whatever you want at the end there to get creative. So that's how we did it for this one. It does take about five to seven minutes with my 5090 to create a 20 second video, but that's incredible. You can create a 20 second really nice video and audio in about seven minutes or so, which is really cool. I like that a lot. And like I said before, it's not quite as good as Sora or the other things uh, that are out there, but it's pretty good. And the way this tech is moving, I mean, we're gonna have some really great open source options and some more quantitized versions are gonna come out and it's gonna run better and who knows what the future holds, but I think this is very promising and I just wanted to show you this workflow. So let's generate another one. I'm actually gonna go over to ChatGPT with those guidelines that I just showed you on how to generate a good prompt. We're just gonna do something simple. So this one's gonna actually include a human. Uh, let's see if it works a little better. I've had really hit or miss results with it so far. You can take a look at a couple of the examples that I have on the screen now. So we can just pause the videos and play those. It's strange how the city feels louder when you're not saying anything. Okay, I need your opinion. I found this purse I'm obsessed with, but it's so expensive. Like, I can afford it, but should I? Be honest, do I buy it or is it a bad idea? Comment right now because I'm literally one click away. So those were a couple that I made before that were quite good. Those are cherry picked for sure. It does take some time to get good results. So we're going to generate one live here. If it doesn't turn out well, you kind of understand that it's not cherry picked. We're just doing it live. So let's pray for a really good one. Or you can just enjoy those samples that I showed before to get the idea. All right. So there's the prompt. And let's start it up. So while that generates in the background, I just quickly wanted to show you my new website, smallzero.io. I was banned from Patreon. Uh, they said I was violating their policies. I was not, but whatever, we keep moving. Uh, this is my new site where I host my files, my tools, uh, news updates, access to the Discord. It's free to join. If you wanna be a paid member and get access to all the tools, it's $9 flat. So these are the tools. We have the upscaler that you know, we have the data set helper now actually hosted live in the app. Same with Prompt Alchemy. Same with the upscaler. So this is the download section where we'll have workflows, Lora's, uh, anything else that's useful. So if you're interested, come join, come join the Discord at least, it's free. We wanna build that community up. If you want paid tools, it's nine bucks a month, uh, but you don't have to, we just wanna build our community up. So let's go back to Comfy UI. Looks like that is done generating. Now let's listen and watch. Oh, 
Okay, so that's pretty cool. The audio is a little haunting. I'm not a huge fan of the audio with LTX2 at this point, but like I said, it's going to get better. It's going to keep improving. Uh, the visual, not bad. You can obviously see some weird things in there, but again, you have to have perspective. This is a 20 second video with audio that you generate on your home computer. This is revolutionary stuff. In six months, you'll understand why this model was so important. It's going to lead to the progression of really cool open source video and audio coming out. So that's all I wanted to show you today. This workflow is available on my website as well. Uh, it is free. I'll show you the tweet here. This is the GitHub. Just go to my Twitter. It's on there as well. I'll just retweet it right now. There you go. Well, thanks to everyone who supported me so far. Uh, I really appreciate it and have a good day.